Hello everyone and welcome to Minora Bay Farms here in Stardew Valley. My name is Melanie B. Thanks for joining me for this episode. It is now the ninth of winter in the year one. And let's check to see what the weather is like tomorrow. Beautiful sunny day. Hooray. <laughs> and it's a super good luck day. So we can head to the mines if we need to. We kind of need to because we need to get the combat skills up. Let's check the mail. Thanks for visiting Pierre's Encloses Your Cashback Rewards Program. 450 G's. Thanks, Pierre. And let's see what we got down here. We need to get some more foraging planted down here. I'm just going to dig these up. So we have one, two, three, four, five of them down there. So we still need to get like 40 more seeds. And we have an extra oak resin. So we can go ahead and make one more keg. Where are my bars? Okay, here they are. I'll take one of this and one of these. We need a little bit of wood as well. Oh my goodness, we are running low on wood. That's going to be something else we have to add. So I'll grab this out of here. We'll move this into the new processing area for the kegs. This up in the shed here. Okay, so I'll put this like so. Will that work? Yeah. Should be able to access all of those still. Actually, you know what? I'm going to set it up to automate. And that way I can get a lot more ke uh, kegs into that, to that room. And we will sell the single juice we got from that. There's a few things we have to take into that. We have to get this amethyst to Emily. And I also have to get two more eggs into the fridge at Gus's saloon. So we'll do that as well. So let me actually take all these eggs out of here and I'll take this and I'll probably take these geodes to Clint and this Brutus to Gunther. And let's leave this in here for a present for whomever. I believe Elliot likes the feathers. And I think also Victor might like feathers as well. I'm not one hundred percent sure on that. Alright, so I just need to keep two eggs, so I'll put the breath into the processor here. And then we can go in and say hello to our Ducks and chickens. Oh, there's a worm spot in here. Let's grab that. More rocks. Hello, my little animals. Got four eggs. Not too bad. So I'm thinking I should put a, actually put another duck egg in to the incubator. Just do it. Just going to go ahead and do it. There we go. In there. There you go. So we'll keep two and we'll head over to see Gus at the saloon. But not before we take care our our little, our, not little, our big, cows and goats and our pig. I need to save up some money so I can purchase some extra pigs. My goal is to get some pigs by the 18th so they'll be ready to go outside once spring hits. They'll be ready to produce 
or not produce, but find some truffles. So you take, oh, grab milk from you and you. Okay, so we'll put this back away. Get those going. And also, we did see a warp tile open up down here by where the house mouse lives. So I kind of want to investigate that, see where that leads to. There are certainly a lot of worm spots. Here we go, another crocus, just what we need. I think we need to get uh, five more. No, four more. So we need to get 40 more more sets of seeds. We'll take the holly though. We'll just sell the holly. It doesn't have really any in-game function, so here it is. Here's a little warp tile. Where does it take us? Uh-oh. Into some sort of lost woods. I can hear a Junimo. You sense a magical presence deep in the forest. Okay. Now I know this is a bit of a maze to get through. And I'm not feeling ambitious enough just yet to head there because I want to get some tasks completed first. And I don't want to get lost before I actually complete those tasks and end up spending the entire day there. Let me grab some trees because we are already low on trees. Okay, so let's head down to see our good friend Clint and see if he can process these geodes for us. Then we will donate whatever we can to the museum. Then we can swing by the saloon after and... Oh, hey, Dean. There's something magical about the sunrise in winter. Don't you agree, Melanie? I awoke early to gather crocuses for a very special bouquet. And now my toes are quite chilled through. So, hey, Dean's been stealing my crocuses. Hey, Lyle. Crops don't grow during winter. But if you have a greenhouse, you can grow all year round. Thanks for the tip. There's a couple of crops I have growing though, just so you know. We got the special crops. <laughs> Obviously, Lyle doesn't have special crops like we do. So, let's head over to... Oh, it's Tuesday, so there was a new quest loaded on Monday. So we can take a mysterious venture or Robin's resources rest. Let's go Robin. And we'll say hi to Penny and Sam here. Those two are either dating or they're super close friends. So let's process these geos. We'll go with this magma geode first. Ah, 20 bucks. Oh, we also have the amethyst to take to Emily. I don't think I'm going to have enough space for all of this. I should have emptied my inventory before leaving. You know, I always tell myself to do these things, and I always seem to forget. But we will sell back whatever we can to Clint and take the rest over to Gunther. Hopefully get some new things. Or some iridium would be very nice too, Clint. If you can supply that, that would be fantastic. I think I could do a couple more. Still two more. Not seeing a whole lot of new stuff. Oh, I do believe that is new though. Maybe. Let's, uh... 
go to shop. So we'll sell that. That's not been donated. We can sell that. Sell that. That's not been donated. Sell that. And that. Okay, let's break a few more. New stuff, please, Glenn. Just new stuff. I think those are both ones we've already done. Oops. More rock. We do not need any rock, Clint, or clay. Just the good stuff, please. Okay, let's see what else we can sell again. Sell that. Keep. Keep. Sell that. And we'll sell that. Get a few more open. Come on, Clint, give us some good luck with these. I don't know if that's what a blacksmith's ability is. <laughs> Probably not. Okay. And I'm just going to head down to see Gunther gets these donated as much as we can anyways. Hi Gunther, got some stuff for ya. We'll let you have this. This can go in this black like stuff area here. You can go someplace up on this second one. Um, the green. I think I have some green. Is this up here? Maybe. Or do I have the dark greens at the bottom? Is that all we can donate? No, oh, there's this. And that's it. That looks like it. Okay. Got a few more spaces, so let's go back to Clint. See what we can get. Certainly have quite a few geodes though. I didn't realize I had stockpiled so many of these ones. Got a few spots open. More stuff we already got. Another dwarf helm. Clint, I say I want new stuff, please. Why do you not listen to me on my request? Okay, let's sell this stuff. Oh, we can donate that one. Sell this. Sell that. Sell that. That and that. This as well. Let's break open a few more. Let's see if we can't get through all of these today. We'll definitely take the coal though. Not the rocks. Not the rocks. Iron, huh, not bad. I don't like single pieces of coal though, or single pieces of copper. We already got that one, and that. Okay. Well, it looks like we're getting through all of them at least. So it's just the one new thing for Gunther. So that can go to Gunther, we'll sell this, and this, and I'll actually keep the crystal. Thank you very much for your help, Clint. See ya! Okay, let's donate this one last piece and head back to the saloon. And hopefully Emily's there, and we can just get the amethyst to her as well. Where can we put this guy? I think I'll put him over here that darkish colored items. Yeah, that works. Okay, off to the saloon. I really should head down to the mines. Like, get down to like level 100 and kill some enemies down there. 
level up that combat skills. He does the Oh guess. Guess there's nobody here. Why is there no one here? That's okay. Let's do what we need for our last two eggs. Plump and pop. We got 3,000 G's for that. I'm not gonna complain. Okay, let's go see if Emily's on her way here. Or if she's at her house. And we can give her this gift. That is actually from us. Because we're the ones supplying it. Emily, you here? Where is she? Emily! You're already supposed to go two places. To the saloon and your, ho your home. That's it. If we can't find her on the map. Emily, where are you? Huh. I do not see her. Where could she be? I wonder if she's off visiting Sandy in the desert. Well, I guess we can always give her the gift for tomorrow. But let me go back to the farm, put some of this stuff away that I do not need to have with me. And let's head down to the mine. Oh, another crocus. Gotta get that. Come here, Crocus. We need you. So that's now 20 seeds we can make. Got another crystal fruit. We'll definitely accept that. Let's tour some of these goodies and go down. Down, down, down. Um, might as well make the seeds for you now. And crystal fruits. Oh, but I already had some seeds here, but now that's gonna make it be off. Because I need exactly 40 seeds. I don't need 23, I need 40. Put that away, put that away in there. Um, let me put the ores into process. So I really don't need any bars. I don't have any shortage of it right now. I'll still pull it away. And put this way, this way. Um, I'm thinking I'm gonna take my slammer with me. I just wanna try it out. It's definitely not my favorite, but it is way more powerful than the obsidian is, so. Let's get these guys planted. They didn't really water here, did I? And I put away my watering can. Oh, I thought I needed 40 seeds, but the back row was already done on these ones. So I actually only needed 25 more seeds, not 40. It's all good. Sell, sell. And how much this sells for? 300, and I bought it for 250, so that's quite a little steal. But I'll keep it. I don't really need to keep the hat with me, but I guess I could change up my look if I, if I need to in the mines. If I need to impress some of the monsters down there with my fashion skill, they can just change up. Say, look guys, I have a sailor's hat too. We'll see if they get impressed. Impressed to death. Okay, so I'm just going to put this like so. And let's go for, let's go 110. 105. Um, slime is not too bad. This word down here. Yeah, 
the sword is just a tiny bit faster than the slammer. And that's typical, I guess. Uh, I don't want to change the quick anything. I already got a ladder down. And there's no actual monster here for me to kill anyways. Yeah, I think I want to keep the sword. <laughs> it feels very awkward using the slammer. Even though it's a tinsy bit slower, it just feels. I'm being bogged down by the, the slammer. I'll eat this. This is going to increase my luck as well. So it might increase the stuff that I find. But that's not what I'm really here for. I'm really just here to kill, kill, kill. Destroy, destroy, destroy. And do a little harvesting while I'm at it. Is there any more monsters in here? Oh yeah. Let's see that there's slime. There we go. Anybody else? Anybody else? Nope. No more takers on this floor. Oh, there's a purple mushroom. Take that. Come on, where are the monsters? So I guess we tend to get less monsters on good luck days, so that might be the reason. Ooh, special one. Get this guy, what does he have for us? Drop me something good. A burglar's shank. That's not as good as I would have hoped. But you know, I can sell it, I suppose. Um. Oh, an infested fork is what I need. I was just gonna go over to Marlin and maybe sell this and the the slammer, but this infested floor convinced me to stay. Where are my mushrooms? Okay, I'm just gonna move around my inventory one more time. Everything has a place to be. I'll pick it. That's better. Okay, come on monsters, where are ya? I'm ready for ya. Kinda. Oh yeah, there's tons of monsters here. There we go. I don't think I'm going to be getting to level 8 today though. Just eat a couple mushrooms before I head over and take those ones on. And you never know. And I don't really want to die in the mines. These guys hit pretty hard. Die slimes. Ooh, got some coal from that one. We'll take that. Okay, there must be some more up here. Oh, I've got an entire iron bar. That's nice. Okay, and another one over here. Oh, a couple more. Well, at least they're giving me some decent drops. So that's good. Still only halfway 
in level 7 of combat, so I still have quite a bit more to kill. I must miss one, just maybe a crab here. There we go. Okay. Let's grab this. Okay, let's head back up and head back to our farm. So maybe I'll try coming on a bad luck day instead. So I can encounter more monsters. Then we can proceed to Skull Cavern. Or maybe I can just, you know, attempt the first couple of floors in Skull Cavern. Because I'll find tons of monsters there for sure. It's just that I'm so worried that they're going to kill me before I even get a chance to kill any of them. Do I need to even hurry? You know what? I don't. Um... Gonna sell the mushroom. Everything else I'll just store away for now. Put these in here as well. Put my sailor hat away. Don't really need it. Oops. Okay. Did I water the last bit of crops that I needed to? I think there was a couple. Because I can't get those quickly. Run, 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 run. <laughs> I'm going to make it. I'm going to make it. Yeah. Just as long as I don't. I'm inside the house, I won't get charged. Not too much money today, less than 2000 But we really didn't sell anything, so that's okay. I need to start selling off some of the stuff. So maybe I'll sell some of the, the cheese that I'm stockpiling in the barn. Oh, it's Sebastian's birthday, yes! We gotta get Sebi a present. Let's check the mail. Oh, and Gus sent us a little fridge. Thank you, Gus. Oh, another mail. And Marnie sent us some hay. I think usually when Marnie sends hay, it's a good indicator that you should just go and re-fill your silo. I don't know how true that is. But I'm going to grab up my sickle right now and head over to the silo and stick these ones in. Take that. Oh, and we've got some oak resin ready. Perfect. So I'm going to make some more kegs today. Nope, I got 200 pieces still in there. But I will top that up right now. And it's been quite some time since I've been into the mushroom cave. I wonder what kind of mushrooms we got on here now. We have a few. Yeah, we've got quite a bit. I shall take those with me. This pine tar here. I love that the grass stays around in the winter time. I really think it's pretty to have the grass all year round. Yeah, so it's all filled up again. Probably gonna move these from here so they're more a more uniform place. Okay, 
So what are we going to give Sebastian? We'll give him a frozen tear because he loves it. And we want him to love us. That away, that away. Oh, I don't have any space. I'm going to fill in the last bit of area down below with this. You can go away. Okay, so do we have some wood? Wrong chest. So we'll get out two copper, two iron, and we make two kegs. Now the oak resin dam that's close in by Marnie's uh, shop in Cindersap, that might be ready today as well. So I should go check on that. Oh look, we got some more forts ready. Ah, this one's out of place. We need to cut some more cobblestone pad for down here. Not a single crocus. How is that possible, game? How could you do that to us? Not a single crocus. That's it's kind of rude, game, if I'm being honest. But I'll forgive you. Grab the holly out of here. I'm going to sell that. Put the chanterelles in there. Okay. Oh, I've got a pine tar on me. I should put the stuff that I need to sell to Marlin aside. So I'm going to definitely be selling this burglar tank. Um, I'm not going to use it. And there's a bunch of other things in here that I would like to sell. Like this, this, that for sure. The forest sword can go. Yeah, there's quite a bit of stuff that I can just, you know, get rid of. They're not, they're just taking up space, right? So one day I'm going to take a trip up to Marlin. I'm going to sell all these old equipment that I'm not going to use. So let's put the wood back here. I'm going to have to go get some wood soon. And soon might as well be today. Let's actually get the pumpkins. Got the pumpkins out of here. Do we? Is this all the stuff we have left for processing? I might as well. Didn't I say I was going to plant these coffee beans? <laughs> They're still here. I'm going to plant the coffee beans. Okay. Oh, we've got tons of pumpkins in here, actually. Okay, this is good. We'll grab out these hops as well. No, there's nothing to worry about. There is tons of stuff to be processed still. So I'll make another wood chest. If I had wood, I would make another wood chest. <laughs> but it seems I don't have enough wood. So let's let's see about making some sprinklers for, and let's get started in the the greenhouse. So. The iridium sprinkler, I would love to be able to make an iridium sprinkler right now. Just love that, but I don't have iridium bars, and I already need iridium bars for other things. So that's not the top priority. I will make some more of the quality ones for now, and I'll stick those in the greenhouse until we're ready, until we're ready for the iridium ones. So I just need iron, gold, and refund quartz. Let's see how much we can do of those. Let's do 12 of these. So we'll make 12 sprinklers. It's too, too many gold bars. Some refined quartz. Got tons of those. Okay. Here we are. Okay, let's head into the greenhouse. We'll come back and take care of the, the animals right after, but let's go into our super large greenhouse that you can easily get lost in. You 
just have to make sure to remember where the entrance and exit is. Right here is the exit. Okay. So, did I, I didn't bring my hoe. So, what can, how much can I put here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So, I'll make three line sprinklers coming down this one. That. Hopefully they can sit here. Perfect. And yeah, I'll make I'll make the line sprinkles for this area up here. Might as well. Not no need to take up a spot, right? So I'll make all downwards facing line sprinklers. This is actually is working out a little bit better actually. One, two, and three. And I might just make three more just to complete this area in here. Now to find a way out. Is it right here? Oh, I got a little nervous there. I'm going to have to find something to mark that doorway. So I might just put a little chest right there. So let's go ahead and look in on the animals. I'm coming, my chickens, even though you don't really need me to feed you. You need some love, right? Well, here you go. Once I get into the skull cavern, I'm hoping to get lucky and find some auto petters. So that will automate that. Um, let's stick these in here. Now what I'm actually going to do I think I might just move these. Yeah. I'll move this for now. Because I really want to get the chest in the shed set up. So we'll put the chest right here. And we will stick our pumpkins in there. And we'll put some of these hops in there as well. Let's get some more kegs on the go. We'll attach those so they're all in sync. And then we'll let those process for a few days and come back and check on them. And then tomorrow we will move these into a more useful place. But let's go ahead Go into the barn. See how our barn animals are doing. Hello, my goats and cows and piggy. Okay, let's get this guy. So yeah, I'll just hang on to the cheese for now, and then yeah, on the seventeenth, the sixteenth, I'm gonna sell all those. Let's see how much money we can have. For Marnie the next day. Maybe I can bring the eggs processing in here too. Oh, that can be one option. Oh, I don't need this with me. I don't need you with me. Gotta stop taking that. I will take this oak resin down here though. I'm just going to head out to send this app real quick and see if those uh, oak resin down there are ready. And it's, it's 2.30. I really need to make sure to get Sebastian his present. No, these ones aren't ready yet. When is it ready? One day. So we'll check back tomorrow. One day, 17 hours. So we'll check back the next day. The day after tomorrow. Okay, so I'll get my hoe, and I want to make three more sprinklers, three more of the line sprinklers. I know I'm 
use the cedar to mark where the, the exit is. So I need three of you, three of you, and three of these bad boys. There we go. Three more sprinklers. And let's get the whole. Now there is a trough at the back of the room of the greenhouse that we can use to fill up our watering can. So that's a good thing. But I will bring my, I will keep my watering can on the, the farm area. Okay, let's put this cedar right here so we know this is close to the exit. Yeah, I think maybe, no, these don't fill up the watering can. I think that trough over there does, okay. So let's get three more down facing line sprinklers and plop these guys down here. There we go. Did I get my hoe? I said get the hoe. Did I get the hoe? I didn't get the hoe. Oh, I'll have to come back for this. Sebastian is pretty important to me right now, so I'm going to go make sure. I get him his frozen tear so he can love us a little bit more. We're coming, Sebastian. Don't worry. Okay, so do I have... Oh, God, yeah, I have plenty of them. We'll go through the backwards way and see if we can collect any, like, uh, crocuses along the way. Oh, looks like the mayo is ready. So we can move those machines today if we remember to. And I still don't have my hoe. <laughs> oh boy. That's okay. It'll be there tomorrow, I'm sure. Oh, and another one. Of course there's another one. Sebastian, where are you at? Are you inside your house, in your room still? Yes, you are. Could you come out, please? Sebastian, I have a present for you. Oh. It infuriates me that he's behind his doors right now. What level are we at? Obviously not two yet. Yeah, one and a half. Shoot. Okay, so I'm really going to have to hope he comes outside. Hey, Robin. Okay, let's see if we can find some crocuses up here. I actually think I only need just one. Because there's only like a couple spots that I needed to fill in still, really. Oh no, I did harvest some today. Oh look, we can get some of the stuff in the quarry here. This mystic node. Oh, some iridium ore. I will take it. I will gladly accept that. Oh, I also wanted to take Emily the Amethyst from Clint, suppose. Oh my goodness, there's an Iridium node right here. Give me like four. Three is good too. That is awesome. We can get one entire Iridium bar right now. I like it. I like it. Some diamond over here. This is great. Okay, what time is it? Okay, let's go back and see if he's out of his room. He better be out of his room. We came all this way just to see him. All we want to do is love you, Sebastian. That is all. We just want to love you a little. And you can facilitate that for us by simply coming out of your room. And let us give you this beautiful frozen tear. It's so oh, there he is! It's so appropriate that he likes this. That this is one of his favorite things. You remembered my birthday. I'm impressed. Thanks. You're welcome. He seems lost in thought. Okay, cool. Let's see what our friendship level is at now. 
Oh, look at that. You jumped to four. So that gave us two and a half. So that's pretty good. Um, we should go back to the farm. Because I do still have all those spots to hoe up in the, in the greenhouse. So I don't know if I put... I think I only have uh, seeds for the coffee beans, so I'm going to plant the coffee beans for sure. I don't think I process any of the strawberries into seeds yet. No, no, I have not. Because I only have the one seed maker. Yeah, so, okay. So what we are going to do is find our, oh, that's what we're looking for. There it is. Eventually, I'm just gonna have to go ahead and upgrade this hoe. It's it's so slow, doing one plot at a time. And I think it's the last piece of equipment that we haven't done anything to. So, yeah, I'm gonna get the hoe done. Oh, it's so dark in here. I can't see a thing. So I might not water today all of these spots, but that's okay, it's the greenhouse, so they have forever and a day to grow, really. So if we don't water today, they'll get automatically watered tomorrow. That's all that really matters, right? Okay, so let me put down some of these right now. I didn't get to get around to getting any wood, and I really need to also start collecting some of the hardwood to unlock Willie's boat. So I should be trying to visit down in the secret woods. Now, just right under the secret woods, there's a little area, the deep woods, and that's one of the mods I have added. And there's plenty of uh, um, hardwood in there. So yeah, I'll take a trip down there and maybe get some wood on the go. So I'll get both types of wood, just regular wood and the hardwood as well. It's so hard to see in here. I'm going to have to bring some of those uh, torches in here. Or maybe have a lantern in here. Something for the lighting, just in case I have to do some night hoeing again. Or crop planting at night. You never know. Okay. I think this should be it. Let's do the last one. We won't get a full field of it. Nope, I'm not going to do the last one. It's 1 o'clock. Going to bed. <laughs> oh, that holly I should have grabbed it and sold it. I'm going to go ahead and sell the mayo. Might as well. They're not doing anything for me in my pockets, right? Or my inventory. Go quickly though. Quick, quick, quick. There we go. Sell, 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 sell. And we'll sell these pumpkins as well. And let's head off to bed. We made it. Quite a productive day, I think. We got some love with Sebastian. And we, oh, we made quite a bit of money. 15000 That's like almost an entire pig now we can afford. That is awesome. Well, that is it for this episode. Thank you very much for watching.